Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we will be looking at Phoenix OS for Raspberry Pi. This is an interesting operating system. I have been trying to make a video about this for quite a while now. Uh, the website is in Spanish, but it's not hard to navigate through the website. Once you get to phoenixlinux.com, click on Pi in the top menu and scroll all the way to the bottom where you will find a link that says Phoenix Pi Remix full version 0.7 and this is the latest version it's English for English go ahead and download this you can use Balena Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager to flush this to your micro SD card once that's done go ahead and remove the SD card from your PC or Mac and insert it in your Raspberry Pi Upon startup, you will be greeted with these six themes. From right to left, we have Windows XP theme, Ubuntu theme, Mac OS, Windows 95, Windows 7, Windows 10, and Phoenix OS theme. The password to login is Phoenix as shown here on the left and that's the password for all other themes now let's log into Phoenix theme first hmm interesting I have to admit I'm a, I'm a little impressed it's got all kinds of bells and whistles and cool effects you even have these performance and stats tracker on the right you can see your SD card usage, memory, and CPU. I like what I see. We'll come back to this theme later on. Now let's check out Windows 10. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's get out of here. Windows 7. Okay. Still looking good. I'm actually still using a Windows 7 in an older laptop, so I don't feel so disconnected. Now let's go to Windows 95. <laughs> oh boy, so many memories. My first PC was running Windows 95 without internet, of course. My internet at the time was uh, the encyclopedia disk that I installed in it rough times <laughs> all right let's get out of here mac os okay okay we got it nothing too special logging out come on let me out holy cow let me out now what looks like ubuntu theme all right all right all right Got it. Okay. Signing out. Next. And last but not least, drum roll, please. Windows XP. Some people may still like this. I don't know if I would be using this theme ever. I don't know. I'm good. All right. Let's log out of here. All right, now let's get going and take a dive. We will work with Windows 10. See how we like this Phoenix OS. As you can see uh, YouTube is running just fine um, I had some issues with Bluetooth I, I had the hardest time in the world to get it to work I don't know if it's my Bluetooth speaker or what it is I have not tried anything else but uh, I'm planning on trying another Bluetooth speaker or my earbuds and see if the uh, if the problem is my Bluetooth speaker, but I could not get sound out of YouTube. 
um it could possibly be something that i'm doing wrong but um i'll keep you guys updated in the comments not a big concern at the moment the audio still works over hdmi as you can see in the video you can still hear sound over hdmi now let's jump on raspberry configuration i need to turn on the camera ssh and vnc i always like to make sure these are turned on before proceeding Now I will go ahead and update the Raspi config. Now here is one of my favorite things in this Phoenix OS. Having Android Air and Android emulator is kind of interesting to me. Honestly, these Raspberry Pi distributions are only getting better every day. This Phoenix OS has a different approach and I like that. I see how this can be appealing to Windows users and also it puts Android tools at your fingertips, which is very clever. This kind of looks like an arranged marriage between Windows and Android. <laughs> Honestly, my first impression with uh, Phoenix OS, I thought it was a little bit bloated. Uh, but I was wrong. I, honestly, I was wrong. Uh, I was looking at all these effects and the graphics and things moving and uh, thinking, man, my experience is it never, it's always too much for the system to process. Check this out. This is, this is kind of interesting. By the way, if you like these effects, here's how to get them turned on. Before logging into your preferred look, you will need to go to the top left corner and select XFCE session. After logging in, go ahead and start CompWiz. This will allow you to take advantage of all the cool transitions. In order to get this cube effect, all you have to do is press Ctrl Alt on your keyboard and drag with your mouse. If transitions and effects matter to you a lot, I highly recommend you get a good fan for your Raspberry Pi and overclock it. This Raspberry Pi that I'm using is an 8GB but it's not overclocked. I, it started struggling as soon as I switched Compwiz on and started the effects. I expected that to be an issue, but effects are not really my thing. I am content with this operating system regardless, and I would always keep an eye on it for updates. There is absolutely so much that I have not covered in this video, I barely scratched the surface. But this is meant to simply give you a snapshot of what this fantastic Phoenix OS is. If you guys end up trying this OS, let me know how you like it or if you see something unique that is worth covering in my next video. With that, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more of my geeky world. Thanks again. See you soon.